Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel donation, the Venmo, and the Patreon family. We are working HBO, courtesy of Match Room, Eddie Hearn. We have a middleweight fight. Daniel, the Miracle Man Jacobs versus Luis Cuba Adias. They had the, the media's fight week. They had a media day workout. And Jacobs did some interviews for the camera. I seen it on Fight Hub, link in the description. Jacob says he's open to fight Charlo. And just to give you guys, in case you guys should just watch the interview, but just to kind of recap what he said, he says he's going after the big dogs. He wants to obviously get past Luis Cuba Adias, an undefeated fighter. So if, if he takes Luis Cuba Adias's O, coming off a loss to Golovkin, a respectable loss, he feels it's a step in the right direction to get the big fights. Canelo versus Triple G. But in the event that they rematch, he said he's also targeting uh, Billy Joe Saunders, David Lemieux, the winner of that. He feels that both of them at some point have avoided him. And he says if he can't get one of those fights for whatever reason, he's going to just keep going down the list. And someone mentioned Andy Lee, which I don't know, is probably a media member from the UK. But Andy Lee, I don't even know. When's the last time he fought? Billy Joe Saunders? And I like Daniel Jacobs' answer. He said, respects Andy Lee is a he's a solid guy, but I just don't see the logistics or the demand really being there for an Andy Lee fight right now. And I agree with that. I mean, you already beat Peter Quillen. You know what I mean? You arguably beat Golovkin. Peter Quillen and Andy Lee had a draw. You know what I mean? It's just, what has Andy Lee done since that? He lost to Billy Joe Saunders. So I just, I mean, I don't really see and Andy Lee was on the I was at the fight I covered the fight Triple G versus Jacobs Andy Lee was on that undercard and I don't think he even looked that great in the fight so I don't even understand why that question came up however he says if he can't get one of those top top bigger names the Lemieux Saunders winner who will be a champion so that's a title fight Canelo Triple G if they end up rematching stuff like that then he's gonna go down the list he said he's not really checking for Andy Lee he doesn't think that makes that much business sense but he did mention Charlo. He says he said Charlo could get it. Charlo could get that work. You know what I mean? He's not a champion, but he's a top player in the division. Charlo could get it. And he says we're just going to go down the list like that. I want to prove that I'm the best middleweight. He talked about possibly moving up to 68, but he says I want to clean out 160 and prove without a shadow of a doubt that I'm the best man at 160. I love the attitude from Daniel Jacobs. Now, I want to talk about Charlo's response. Some guys on Twitter were randomly tweeting, and the tweet from a guy named Michael says, Danny Jacobs has called out Jamal Charlo as the fighter he wants to go after next. That's not entirely true. I just explained it to you. He says he wants one of the big fights, i.e. the championship fights or the big name like a Canelo champion, Triple G rematch, champion, the Saunders Lemieux winner. And if he can't go that, that route, for whatever reason, they're tied up or fight each other or something, then he wants to go to the next other top guys. And he, he did not mention Jamal Charlo. So just to keep that clear, basically what I'm trying to say to you guys is if Canelo is open or Triple G is open or the Saunders Lemieux winner is open, I guarantee you he'll take one of those fights over the Charlo fight. But he said he's not ducking the fade with Charlo if those guys are booked up. And he also corroborated what the Charlos told me. And I have all the video. Charlo said they could fight on HBO, and Danny Jacobs said, "Oh yeah, they could, they could, they could come over to HBO." You know what I mean? He's an Al Heyman advised fighter. A lot of people get it twisted because he's with Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn's a promoter. Al Heyman is an advisor. Al Heyman is still his advisor. Danny Jacobs, when he first announced that he was partnering with Eddie Hearn and did this multi-fight contract with HBO, he acknowledged that Al Heyman, I started with him, and I'm gonna finish my career with him. So some people got that twisted thinking like Eddie Hearn just is running the reins of his career and Al Heyman's not his advisor anymore. That's not true. So just trying to make everything transparent. Back to the tweet. Um, the person mentioned that Jacobs had called out the Charlo and someone else responded and said he would tear up 
Jamal Charlo and they tag Jamal Charlo in it. It says Charlo don't want none. He's better off sticking to the Highland type fighters. So I don't know. That person was clearly trying to throw some shade at Charlo. And Charlo responded. He said, nah, playboy, I'm with it. Eat. And then he also had a tweet. I think he said something like nothing to lose. That was his verified account. So that's a response. That's an official response for Jamal Charlo. He's like, I'm not better off fighting Highland. I'm with it. I'll fight Jacobs. That's basically what he said. He said, nah, playboy, I'm with it. Eat. So let's get it. Lions only. Man, that would be a hell of a fight. I really like Jamal Charlo. Really like Danny Jacobs. Hell of a fight. But first, we got to see how Daniel Jacobs looks against another undefeated guy, Luis Cuba Adias. And then the future's looking bright for the winner of that fight. Let me know what you guys think of Jamal Charlo's response. How do you think he fits in? Obviously, fighting Jorge Sebastian Highland, the ranked guy, it placed him higher up the rankings. But we still got to see more. We have to see if it's the same Charlo that was at 54. But as far as the attitude, the confidence, the spirit, the training, the size, the frame, I think he can do good, very good at 160. Danny Jacobs is, is a veteran, though. So it's a good fight. All of these are good fights. Um, the winner, like let's say David Lemieux beats Billy Joe Saunders by knockout. Jamal Charlo versus Lemieux. Great fight. Danny Jacobs versus Lemieux. Great fight. And it'll be a title fight. So Golovkin, if he wants to become undisputed, he's going to have to see one of these people. So I'm just loving the possibilities. Let me know what you guys think. Daniel Jacobs versus Jamal Charlo. If it were to happen, who would you favor? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, ego something up. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.